everybody, welcome to uh, the last episode to be recorded today. However, might not be the last episode of Undertale. Because I'm getting a true ending. Why? Because I can. Do I want to go the genocide route? Fuck no. Like, I like these characters. You think I want to kill them? It's not exactly my forte, you know? Not to mention this game seems difficult enough. I like how the game had like the the story on like the back burner. Uh, while like the gameplay was up front, and then now that like the game is done, I get all the story. Wait, the fuck am I doing? Left floor one. Tralala, -la, care for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? All the way to Snowden. Then we're off. Tra -la -la. humans, monsters, flowers. Come again sometime. Tra -la -la. I want tuna salad. Do you guys want tuna salad? Fucking love tuna salad. Papyrus, my pal. It's a joke. No, that is Papyrus. Welcome to my scenic house. Enjoy and take your time. Welcome to my scenic house. Enjoy and take your time. I'm going to go into your room then. So, um, if you've seen everything, you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've never actually done this before. But don't worry. Can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Yeah. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. <laughs> Reel it in. Tuesday. Dog radar. Uh, fucking crime rate. <laughs> Egg. Wow, we. I feel so informed. I think we're ready to start step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human eye, the great papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. Yes. <laughs> really? Wow, we. Guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? Lock it around your neck. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am. 
No, your dating power! Date power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah. What do you think of my uh, secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. Your state won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> oh, well, well, then you, you found my secret. Oh, I usually keep secrets under my hat. There. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. It's spaghetti! Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This is this ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan, artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way you can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. <laughs> what a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! No! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. Hi, Papyrus. Hi. Um. Boy, it's on it's here. Oh, is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean... I mean, I tried very hard to. Thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. Be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. Feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison with no escape. A dark, dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my, oh, to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for the second best. <laughs> God fucking friend zone. <laughs> or if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Oh, wrong way. Door's locked. I didn't even go up. I think now I can go hang out with Undyne. Tra la la, care for a ride? Riding the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? We're going to Waterfall. Then we're off. Fucking love Papyrus, but I guess he doesn't love me the same way I love him.
Come on again sometime, tra la la. Love that guy, he's pretty cool. Is, is this way the correct way? Which way is the correct way? Feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Oh-ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yeah. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Sorry, I don't think Undyne would be too happy if I gave her a bone. I have a virus. Or if you're extra private, one-on-one -on -one training. You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> uh, my brain just immediately went to the fucking um, uh, Seinfeld meme. Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, th thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. She doesn't even open the gifts. So are we ready to start? <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. So why are you here? Drop your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. <laughs> really? How delightful. I accept. It's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. Well, at least she was raised correctly. <laughs> You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. Thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can be friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. <laughs> Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> this is the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Sit down and progress? No, I want to inspect. I can't believe he leapt through my window like that. <laughs> Normally he nails the landing. When I'm Alpha's, uh, friend, come over here. Alpha's his friend. All I did was lay seductively. Oh, <laughs> Alpha's friend came and laid seductively on the piano. And fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Let's see my room. Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. The sink is a teacup, the shape of a fish. Inside the bone drawer. <laughs> Seven is some top of the line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as the technology advances, nothing beats, uh, beats food home cooked with fire magic. Silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives. Tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Super. Oh, okay, I, I thought the cutting board would be different. I hate cold food. So I'll just fix my fridge so it heats up food instead. <laughs> Hot fridge. World's greatest invention. Well, yeah, uh, doesn't monster food, like, not go bad? 
Meaning that, like, there's no point in having a fridge anyways. Humans suck. But their history? Kind of rules. Case in point? It's giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their own size. <laughs> right? True. Heh. <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys uh, built a giant sword together. She figured out... I fi figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? So nice to have you over. Why don't I take a seat at the table? Sit at the freaking table, you little nerd. Sit and down. Sit, sit and down. Progress. Yes. <laughs> Comfortable. I'll get you something to drink. Let's say, what would you like? Hey, don't get up. You are the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point at what you want? You can use the spear. Are you hitting on me? I want the sword. <laughs> Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you were my beloved house guest. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! <laughs> T-Box, blatantly correct choice. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. It's blue. Soda, sticky yellow liquid. Sickly yellow liquid, sorry. Sugar goes in tea. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think, I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. <laughs> Why do I have it? <laughs> Hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, just remembered. Container's empty. Stop getting it because it's, al it's always a hassle. This guy keeps getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. It's sugar's for the tea. I'm not going to give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women ter terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs a prelude of destruction? Is that it? Yeah. What? Really? That rules! Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. It's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. <laughs> sort of. You know... I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. Couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. 
one day during practice finally knocked him down it felt i felt bad but he was beaming i have never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked I mean, long story short he kept training me and now i'm the head of the royal guard <laughs> so now i'm the one who gets to train the dorks to fight like uh papyrus but, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. Just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. He ended up being friends with you instead. Could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. It's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. <laughs> You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. He's cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Fuck. I might actually cook spaghetti after this. <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. It's so loud. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be... We're gonna be best friends. Start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we had the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Now just put them in the pot. How you put them in the pot? Fiercely, careful. Place the noodles in it one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. It's a general rule of thumb. The more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. Harder! Harder! <laughs> Let me do it. Step, 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 step. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right. Like. Oh, that's left. <laughs> uh, let me do it. Get MS pain ass fire. Ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Who am I kidding? I already screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I haven't failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. <laughs> All out on both sides. 
It's the only way we can regain the last. I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. <clears throat> Fake attack. You pretend to swing head on down with all your might. What? It's the best you can manage. You've been attacking at full force. Just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid. Chagrin. Is that how you spell chagrin? Or is it saccharine? Wait, I gotta look this up. How do you pronounce this? I don't... Am I stupid? Am I pronouncing things wrong? First, I will look up how to spell chagrin. Oh, it's, yeah. It's spelled chagrin. I'm just bad at reading. Uh, chagrin. Excessively sweet. Saccharin. I am not good at English. First, I hate your stupid saccharin shtick, but... Will you hit me now? Hit me right now? Right, you're someone I used to train with. No, no, you just aren't some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. Seems that you and Asgard are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. Sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. Makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, if you do hurt Asgore. I'll take the human souls across the barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, huh? <laughs> I'll have to get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> oh, that was fun, huh? I'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, huh? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to. <laughs> huh, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. So, so, this is Sun, but can you... Hey, wait. Your inventory's full. Uh, well, I'll be at Papyrus's. <laughs> Come see me when you have any less stuff. Sounds like the only, only the fire lives there now. What? 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 Yeah, it's not living. Right now, what if I call Papyrus and ring, ring? <laughs> That's Undine's house. It's a great place to, uh. <sighs> yeah, it's my house. <laughs> Hi, Undine. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. <laughs> wow, we Undine. Someday I want to be as strong and sweat as sweaty as you. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm going back to Snowden. That's the wrong direction. Oh, actually, I'm not going back to Snowden. I'm going to finish off this episode. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I have been Laser Operator. And this is Undertale. Thank you. I just cracked my back. Goodbye.